on the strategic front, uh, we haven't had much sleep. We've been extremely busy, and uh, you know, I, I tend to sort of look at it as uh, initiatives uh, to do with our existing portfolio, and then. Uh, initiatives that will grow us into new products and to new geographic areas. Uh, when we look at the initial portfolio, I think one of the big uh, steps forward has been our initiative to relocate the Marula license, uh, which is a tiny property uh, uh, in uh, Gauteng, to a much better location on the east side of Pretoria, uh, a precinct called Men and Main. Uh, we received the thumbs up from the Gauteng Gambling Board last month that uh, we could relocate that property and we intend to, uh, to build a 3 billion rand entertainment complex for Shwani. It's a complex that the city has nothing like uh, currently, and we think it's a very, very exciting opportunity for everyone, um, obviously ourselves, but I think for the residents and for the city. And uh, that's a three-year plan and build process. Uh, we uh, are going to be dealing with a couple of legal objections, and as soon as the road is clear on that front, we can get going. And as I say, a very exciting development uh, for all concerned. Uh, elsewhere in our portfolio, uh, we have looked at our presence in Africa, and uh, we've got a couple of properties, five different countries in Africa, and we recently announced a transaction whereby the Miner Group, it's a group listed in Thailand, a hotel and leisure group, uh, with a strategy to get into Africa, uh, has decided to partner with us in our African portfolio. Uh, we think it's a win-win, very complementary uh, partnership. Uh, we get to continue uh, managing and focusing on the casino business, uh, their core businesses, hotels, and we're hopeful that the partnership uh, will not only take the current assets to a new level, but will enable us to look for new opportunities, uh, possibly in Asia, where they have a very strong presence. Staying with our existing portfolio, uh, we've announced uh, two further transactions uh, related to uh, our partners uh, down in the Western Cape, Grand Parade Investments. We uh, announced firstly that we are going to acquire a stake in their limited power machine business. This is an industry that's growing rapidly in South Africa. Strategically last year, we said we were interested in getting involved, and uh, that uh, transaction has been announced and uh, is in the process of obtaining regulatory approval. Uh, Grand Parade Investments uh, simultaneously decided that they wanted to exit our uh, large asset Grand West down in Cape Town so they could pursue other interests, and we were uh, able to find Soho Sun as a partner to come in as a minority shareholder into that business. Uh, they have a strategic interest in the industry, a balance sheet uh, capable of meeting the purchase price requirement from uh, GPI. And so we were able to conclude a deal where they'll come on as partners down there. Uh, and that process is again uh, subject to regulatory approval, uh, which is fairly well advanced. Outside of South Africa, in Latin America, we have recently announced that uh, uh, we are increasing our shareholding in Monticello. Uh, it has recovered from the smoking ban. Uh, we see further growth prospects there. And more importantly, uh, the increase in shareholding gives us control over this property, which is a flagship uh, for the continent and enables us to, uh, to move ahead with trying to create a, a much wider platform and footprint uh, in that, uh, in that uh, continent. So that's a process, uh, again, subject to regulatory approval, which we expect to, to obtain in the next couple of months. Staying in Latin America, uh, Panama is a country where we announced previously we were uh, going ahead with a $105 million uh, development, uh, a large casino in Panama. That uh, construction and fit out is now complete, and literally a couple of weeks from now, 12th of September, we'll be opening that property, uh, which will be an ex exciting new addition. It's not the last one in that part of the world, just across the water in Colombia, in Cartagena. Uh, we uh, recently, in July, received the approval from the gaming regulator there. Uh, to go ahead with uh, a casino development in Cartagena. We will mobilize a construction team in the next couple of months and hope to open that property during 2015. If I uh, try and consolidate uh, the various initiatives uh, that are taking place and the impact on the business going forward, uh, we think the economy in South Africa is likely to be subdued for the foreseeable future, uh, but we do have the various initiatives uh, that we're implementing on ourselves to carry us through the next year or two and hopefully uh, continue to deliver improvement. Uh, we've got the new opportunities coming on Panama, uh, followed by Colombia, the increased shareholding in Monticello, uh, which will give some momentum and hopefully some further growth uh, out of that part of the world. Uh, these initiatives all take capital expenditure. And so in the light of all of that, uh, as much as we're confident uh, that we're seeing EBITDA and revenue increasing in the near ahead, we've decided to maintain the final dividend at the same level of last year which in fact is slightly down uh, year on year in line with our HEPs.